Well, Daniel Hagari was speaking at the Julis South Base near Ashdod, where the Israeli military have put an intercepted Iranian missile on display. And Dominic was there and sent us this. This is the fuel tank from an EMAD, Iranian EMAD ballistic missile. Um, the fuel tank is 11 metres alone, but before it was intercepted, there would have been an engine down the end a metre or two uh, long, and then at the other end of the missile, there would have been a warhead about the size of a small car, packed with half a tonnes of explosives. As one Israeli officer said to us earlier, when he saw pictures of this on the internet, as we all did, he thought it was fake news, and it is really sobering standing next to this. It gives a very clear and powerful sense, graphically, of the threat posed by Iran's missile onslaught. More than 100 of these uh, ballistic missiles were fired, and over 300 projectiles of different forms, drones, ballistic and, and cruise missiles, all fired at Israel, all brought down apart from a small number, we're told. Now, the Israeli uh, military spokesman, earlier when he showed this to us, said that Iran's attack uh, cannot go unpunished. And the question now is how uh, they uh, deal with that, how do they retaliate? They clearly plan to in some shape or form without escalating matters even further. Because the other thought as you stand here is what happens if things escalate into a much bigger regional conflict and we have even more of these things flying around the Middle East? Uh, it's a thought that I think is chilling minds, particularly in uh, the minds of uh, Western allies of Israel and obviously focusing the minds of the Israeli government and military as they wrestle with the decision as to what they do next.